Welcome to GameSpot Live. Uh, you're tuned in to the video tour for Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Three Raven Shield, the latest game in this suspenseful and challenging tactical shooter series. So Raven Shield is uh, the third game in Tom Clancy's uh, Rainbow Six series. Uh, the series started several years ago. Uh, it was uh, kind of inspired by the, the political thriller novels of uh, author Tom Clancy, who uh, is famous for such books as uh, The Hunt for Red October. Um, Rainbow Six has since become uh, one of the foremost a tactical shooter series uh, in the computer and video game world. Uh, Raven Shield is, is the third game uh, to bear the Rainbow Six name, but there have been a whole bunch of games prior to that. Um, Ra Raven Shield really returns to kind of the, the hardcore tactical shooter roots uh, of the Rainbow Six series. Uh, the third game, or rather this game, has a story, a single player story that's not really that, all that strong, but fortunately it's not that important. Uh, basically, it involves um, digging up Nazi treasure from uh, museums. Um, it's really just an excuse or a setup to let you take control of uh, Team Rainbow. Uh, Rainbow is a, a highly trained uh, elite group of special agents, uh, highly trained operatives uh, who are counter-terrorists who are uh, extremely skilled and are basically kind of the last line of defense against terror uh, in the world. So uh, Raven Shield has a, a series of, of training missions. They're not real comprehensive, but they do run you through uh, simple things like planting explosives, uh, using firearms and clearing rooms, uh, either by yourself or with a team. They may also be our last. <clears throat> so uh, let's start a new single player game. Uh, we'll set it on easy just for the sake of time here. Our first mission takes place here in, uh, in Venezuela. Uh, this mission, like a lot of the missions in the game, it's a, it's a counter-terrorist mission. Uh, you've got multiple squads of very highly trained operatives with uh, different specialties. And you can actually outfit them with different weapons and items um, th that you'll need throughout the mission. So here's the briefing screen. Um, this will run you through the, the details of the mission. Uh, it'll give you a, a brief look at your objectives and, and that sort of thing. Uh, Raven Shield has a, a number of different missions that have both indoor and outdoor areas. The game's actually powered by the, the latest generation of the, the Unreal Engine, so it's, it all looks quite good. So here we are at the uh, team selection screen. There's our good buddy, Ding Chavez. Uh, we're selecting uh, different members, uh, different team members for our red team and green team. Uh, let's put some assaults here on red team. So as you can see, the operatives have various uh, different attributes, which actually improve uh, over the course of the missions, uh, or rather between missions if they survive. Uh, kind of like the previous games in the series. Um, it's, uh, it's really tempting to take characters who have really high stats, but if you lose them, well, you, you feel pretty bad about it because you can't advance their skills in the next mission. Uh, let's see, let's take a sniper here for a support team, and let's take some recon guys. Uh, these are guys who have really good stealth. Uh, they're, uh, they're kind of better about um, providing, providing support, uh, sighting tangos uh, from a distance, that sort of thing. And here we'll, uh, we'll outfit our operatives with, a, adi with additions uh, for their weapons, um, as well as possibly some different uh, miscellaneous items to carry. So here I just got some silencers. Uh, carrying flashbangs, maybe we'll grab a heartbeat sensor, which can be used to uh, detect uh, any possible uh, hostiles that may be in the area. It's a really handy tool uh, that's been in the previous games. That just basically helps you find people or find enemies that you can't see. Let's grab one of those for him too. And yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks all right. We'll, uh, we'll get some silencers here as well. Um, we're, we're just going to run through this really quickly, but Raven Shield has a, a huge variety of uh, different weapons, submachine guns, assault rifles, sniper rifles, shotguns. Just a lot of stuff that you can play with. If you're a fan of, uh, of modern uh, warfare, if you're a fan of of, of uh, firearms, uh, you just like monkeying around with different additions and that sort of thing, uh, you'll really be able to, to play around with it uh, for a bit in Raven Shield. So let's jump to the planning room. This is uh, another uh, old favorite feature of the series. This is basically going to let you choose your, your waypoints for your, your team. Um, basically I've got two teams here, the red team and the green team, so let's... So here if I, I wanted to, I could send my team around this way. Uh, let's see, have them stop behind that barrel. As you can see, there's a kind of a picture within picture view in the upper left corner that basically shows you what your team is going to see at that, that particular time. You can actually run through and see the, the mission through the eyes of your teammates, which is really handy. 
Um, so the, the planning map can be as in-depth as you want it to. Uh, part of the challenge, if you want it to be, is uh, to really plan out your moves and try to minim minimize casualties so that your operatives can survive to the next mission and, and improve their skills uh, over the course of the game. Uh, but, you know what, let's, let's just go to Instant Action. Let's delete all these waypoints here. And uh, we'll go to the Execute Mission Room. So I guess we'll start with the green team real quick. And we'll go. Okay, so we're starting off the mission here. I've got a sniper. Uh, you can switch to any team and any uh, operative on the fly uh, using the game's different uh, keyboard shortcuts. Uh, there are quite a few keyboard shortcuts to learn, but basically once you play for a little bit, you'll get used to them. It's actually got a pretty decent interface. Uh, so I've got my sniper here. I believe there's a guy hiding on a, a walkway or a catwalk up around this corner, so let's try sneaking around here. Uh, we'll lean to the side there. Leaning is a very important, obviously a very important maneuver when you do this line of work. Um, you basically have to be really stealthy. Uh, you basically have to sneak up on your enemies and, and basically take them down before they take you down. The pacing of this game, like with a lot of other great tactical shooters, is it, it seems somewhat inconsistent. There, there are a lot of periods of, of kind of quiet time, followed by uh, periods of, of very short, violent standoffs, uh, where basically everything seems to happen at once. A bunch of teams rush in and take down a bunch of tangos. Um, it's, it's obviously very different from a traditional run-and-gun first-person shooter, but it's, uh, it's very exciting and uh, very enjoyable in its own way. So we took down that hostel, thank goodness. And uh, let's see about getting the rest of my team in there. So I'll switch to the assault team. And uh, guys, follow me, please. All right, so we'll head around the corner. Uh, taking down that one guy seemed a bit too easy. Uh, obviously, that's not the only guy in this mission. We'll pull out our heartbeat sensor here. Everything seems to be quiet. Uh, basically, if there's ever uh, another person nearby, whether it's a teammate or a, an enemy tango or a hostage, they'll show up as a, a blip on the heartbeat meter. Uh, there didn't seem to be anything, so let's sneak around the side quietly here, see what happens. Uh, as you can see, that icon on the bottom, uh, that's kind of the command. That's one of the command uh, options that you can use. You can order your teammates to basically move on that area uh, just by tapping the space bar. Uh, the space bar is basically the action key that's used to open doors, um, use electronic devices, and that sort of thing. Uh, again, uh, even though Raven Shield is a, a very challenging tactical shooter, it's, it's got a pretty decent interface. So let's see what's down here. Okay. So there, there's nothing there. Let's, uh, let's double back and see if there's anything interesting back this way before we open that door. Contact. And it uh, looks like we had some contact there. Contact. Uh, yeah, we've got contact and yeah, okay, we took a hit there. So uh, in Raven Shield, um, which is, it's, it's different from, from most other standard first person shooters, basically one good hit means you're dead. Um, that, that contributes really to the, the very tense uh, nature of the games. Um, if you're if you're used to more kind of run and gun arcade style games like Unreal Tournament or or Quake or Serious Sam, you may kind of have a, a hard time adjusting. But um, actually, once you get used to it, it's 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 really quite exciting. So uh, let's try bring our sniper in. We'll have our assault team hang out, uh, hang back there, and cover that area. So we'll sneak down these stairs very quietly. Uh, Check around the side. Fortunately, there's some barrels here to take cover behind. Uh, as you can see, um, the game does have some pretty expansive outdoor environments. Uh, it's not really a, a Raven Shield isn't really a game that emphasizes outdoor environments as much as the previous game Ghost Recon did. But uh, the Unreal Engine is is more than than up to the task of uh, rendering really detailed Outside. outdoor environments as well as really detailed indoor environments. Uh, so here we are on this train yard. We just took down that guy. Let's see if there's anybody else. Oh yeah, there he is. Okay, we took him down. Alright, hopefully that was the last of them for now. Go, go, go! Move out. So there's somebody up on the camp walk there. Let's say hello to him. There we go. Now, for the purposes of, of demonstration, I'm not really being too terribly careful. Uh, obviously, you're, you're going to want to be a little more careful. 
uh, than, than how I'm being go, in this go. demonstration, but uh, this does help give you a good idea of, of what the game is like, so let's, let's have my team come in here. Okay, so uh, now we'll just use the action key to climb up this ladder. Uh, I think there was uh, there's something on the heartbeat sensor right around here, so let's sneak around and let's give one of our teammates the order to open the door. And, okay, so thankfully we saw him before he saw us. Looks like that area is clear. Uh, the game actually lets you uh, open the door part way, which is handy for making a stealthy entrance. Open it. I'm on it. So let's have our teammate do the work for us. Okay, so the door is open. That looks clear. Let's uh, let's use a heartbeat sensor. Okay, we've got uh, we've got some kind of contact over there. Let's try tossing in a smoke grenade and see what happens. Uh, it'll rebound off the wall there, thanks to uh, the Unreal Engine's physics. So we'll sneak around there. Okay, apparently the guy was not there. Let's see if they're behind that door. Yeah, there's uh, there's definitely someone behind that door. Open door. Yes, sir. All right. Let's, uh, let's have our teammate open the door and hope for the best. What was that? All right. Hi. How are you? Okay. Uh, obviously, you want to be a bit more surgical about your, your door breaching, but uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, it's, it's uh, really no reflection on my skill, of course, watching all my teammates get cut down like this, because normally I, I never lose anybody. We'll breach this next door and see what happens. Um, the pacing is, is very different from your, your average first-person shooter. You're, you're playing a game of, of cat and mouse. Uh, it's very suspenseful. Uh, basically, you see that you've got a whole bunch of contact here on your heartbeat sensor. You know that someone's behind that door. You got the drop on them, though. Okay, let's, uh, let's see what the red team is up to. We'll switch back here. Uh, we're back on the outside where we left them. Uh, if we had uh, preset go codes uh, in the planning phase, we could actually have had them move from waypoint to waypoint. Uh, that's uh, basically if you want to Open door. to really right. be be organized and really really uh, take the mission uh, at its absolute best, you can uh, you can do that. You can take the time to plan out your every last move. Here, I didn't choose to do that just because uh, we, we do want to get through this tool. So. We did a casualty there, and, uh, and he's still around. Let's give him a grenade. Okay. Fortunately, that worked this time. So we're looking for uh, for the last tangos in this mission. Let's open the door. Okay, there's one. There might be some on the other side. Yeah, there's one there. We'll get rid of them there. Uh, the game has uh, breaking glass and other environmental features. Again, thanks to the, uh, the latest edition of the Unreal Engine. Uh, we got very lucky and took out both of them there. Let's reload really quickly. Let's see, he might be behind this door. This operative does not have a heartbeat sensor. Uh, the others were killed off, unfortunately. Ugh, very lucky. Let's open the door and see what happens. All right, he's down. Uh, at this point, it seems like we've got most of the tangos. We're just kind of looking for the last ones. Uh, that guy was not the last one. Uh, okay, that that's what we call luck. 
that doesn't normally happen uh, either in, in uh, Rainbow Six or in real life. Uh, just got extremely lucky there. So we'll head down this way, see if the, the final terrorist in this mission is through here. Uh, not really being very careful at this point, which I shouldn't be, but okay. Looks like that was the last one. All right, we're at the victory screen here. Uh, basically, it reports our statistics and how well we did, as well as how many casualties we took. Uh, basically, when you complete missions successfully, uh, you, your operatives may improve in different skill points and such. As you can see, uh, Raven Shield is a very terse and challenging tactical shooter. Uh, the game has full multiplayer modes, along with its comprehensive single-player campaign, so have fun with it.